Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next Avatar news update video. And this one is going to talk about this uh, recent announcement from Dark Horse Comics that there's going to be a Legend of Korra Turf Wars live reading that they're going to be doing on their Twitch channel, the official Dark Horse uh, Comics Twitch channel. So it's going to be a uh, Janet Varney and Seychelle Gabrielle, so of course the voice actors for Korra and Asami, doing a live reading of Legend of Korra Turf Wars uh, Part 1. Now, when I first saw this announced, just the, the brief kind of uh, announcement text on Twitter, I was like, oh, this seems really cool. Are, are the two of them just going to read all of Turf Wars Part 1? That seems very interesting. I'm actually... I, I want to know what they think about like the plot of the book with the spirit portals and the triads like Tokuga and what happens and then like of course you get the Korosami stuff along the way as well. But then when you read into it in the actual blog post it actually just says um, Varney and Gabrielle will uh, conduct a live reading from The Legend of Korra Turf Wars Part 1 covering the first chapter featuring Asami and Korra as they take a need to vacation in the spirit world. So they're only going to be doing a section from the start of the book, which I assume is literally the spirit world vacation. I wonder might they extend it into the bit immediately after they come out because it still is primarily Korra and Asami, but Tonrock and Senna are there as well. That, that, that could be something. But because they just have Janet Varney and Seychelle Gabrielle, I assume it will just be the core and the Sami scenes and they won't bother attempting to on the fly voice act for the other characters or even just read out that stuff. Um, immediately just them fi finding out that like, oh, so they'll be reading out like what, 15 pages at most? Okay, that's fine, but like it's not particularly exciting. Um, it does go on to say, um, fans are invited to ask questions about the Legend of Korra in the live stream chat. Following the live reading, a moderated Q&A session will take place with the actors. Uh, a free digital excerpt of Legend of Korra Turf Wars Part 1 will be available ahead of time on Dark Horse Digital beginning at 12am Pacific on April 6, 2020. So the event is actually happening April 6, 2020 at 2pm. So they're putting up the digital version two hours beforehand. That seems a bit, like, weak. Like, really? You can't, like, just have it out, like, a day beforehand or a day or two? Especially given that it's just, like, an excerpt, so it's basically just preview pages. Like, there's probably more pages of this book available on the Google Books preview right now compared to what they're actually going to be officially releasing as this, like, exclusive thing for people to follow along with if they don't have the book. Um, so that just feels a little bit, like really dark horse it's something i guess like they're not just relying on like oh everyone has read the book there'll be people tuning into this who haven't read the comics probably so it, it makes sense to a degree um during the stream dark horse will give away a prize pack including one copy each of legend of core turf wars library edition and legend of core runes of the empire parts one to three so all of the core comics basically participants must enter during the live broadcast in the stream chat uh, instructions will be given and it's a uh, one entry per person slash twitch account so you know that's something i guess you know they're giving away some books um and yeah there's a q a and they're going to be reading at the first section like i said um it will be fun to see that i suppose it'll only be a handful of minutes for them to just go through a couple of pages there's not that much dialogue in it um I suppose there is also like who's going to do the voice for the uh, the spirit, uh, the the big rock spirit guy. Um, that could be something if uh, I, su I assume Janet Varney will probably end up doing the voice for that, um, or I don't know, whatever. Um, but still, like it's only going to be that first section. It'll be nice to see the voices again and and hear the the way they go about actually acting the scenes and like like do do they still have the voices? You know, um, I I wonder will it literally just be like them going on reading it for the first time or like have they actually like done any sort of like rehearsals on this i assume they will go over it so it actually flows nicely during the actual uh, broadcast since it's going to be live um so you know that th that's one again like i i don't think that the dialogue between core and asami and like turf wars is like particularly like incredible but it should be fun just to see it kind of done again um q a's with the voice actors it's kind of like okay so we'll probably get answers to questions we've seen answered in like interviews and panels before 
I don't really expect all that much, especially given that it's moderated. So you're going to have some Dark Horse um, moderator just saying what questions should be answered or not, uh, which immediately sort of, you know, is like, I get it. You know, you're probably going to have a lot of people in the chat. You have to do some level of moderation. Um, but I'm worried just a lot. Of, it's going to be pretty boring, like a lot of the panels and stuff like that end up being when it's only voice actors. Um, again, this is where you, like, you hope, and I, I've seen a lot of people almost like, thinking like oh will this be when they do the big like the Korra the next Korra comic announcement I don't think so uh, just because if that was at all a factor of this then would that not be the event and not this in that to me if you put these two announcements side by side uh, Turf Wars live reading with two of the voice actors versus we're going to do a Twitch announcement of the next Korra comic I know which one I'm tuning into first, and that is the new comic announcement and not the Turf Wars live reading. So it'd be a bit weird to just like throw in a bigger reveal onto the end of this rather than like kind of do it the other way around. Um, so that's that's just where, where I'm at with it. I, I'm going to check it out. Like 2 p.m. Pacific, that's like, uh, I think it's 10 o'clock p.m. over here. So that's not too late, so I'll probably be in the Twitch chat for this just to check out what it, it, what exactly it is. Maybe there will be more of a hint that, like, oh, maybe there might be some news included in this, but uh, I'm not really sure. It, look, it's a fun event. Uh, other companies are doing stuff like this, given what's happening, obviously, at this point. But I would like and hope that there is some sort of an announcement, just because, like... The Korra, the, the, sorry, the Katara comic being the first, like, big announcement has just kind of really put people's expectations, like, pretty drastically in check. And everyone's kind of like, oh, like, the format is interesting, but can we have some more important content? And I think there is honestly a lot of hype behind whatever the next Korra comic is, because if it is another trilogy, it feels like there's only one direction to go in, and it has to be Fire Nation, and whatever whenever they confirm that there's going to be a lot of excitement about that because there's so much fire nation stuff with regards to Korra that we want to know about but again it's just speculation nothing in the announcement or anything like that makes it seem like there's going to be the big announcement but who knows maybe maybe there will be they're they're really promoting this quite heavily which i get it they have two of the voice actors and like but at the same time like they're giving away a prize pack they're giving away four books for this thing like one hardcover and three individual parts is what they're giving away and um, that seems a bit like like okay that's not that great um but anyway um we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens so yeah my, my initial thoughts are like it seems fun and like a cool idea but not absolutely exciting not like must see or anything like that so uh yeah in in the comments let me know what your thoughts are on this um are you going to be you know tuning in to watch this do you have any expectations for what will or won't happen but yeah that's been the video thanks for watching and bye